Hello, my name is Diego Castro Estrada. I am an undergraduate from Florida International University, majoring in computer science with a minor in mathematics. And today I will be talking about the project I've been working on for the past couple of months, which consists in applying transfer learning uh, to problems with constraints. And I've been doing this project uh, in collaboration with Dr. Azu Ozula, Dr. Ajia Wilson, and Dali Reza Fala. Now, you might have heard of machine learning, but in case you haven't, machine learning very broadly refers to a class of methods which involve training a model on data in order to make predictions. And the way this works usually is that you show your model a bunch of data points, and then based on the predictions it makes, you adjust the model until it's very good at predicting whatever you want it to predict. And this is very good. Machine learning is super useful. It has applications in fields ranging from computer vision to medicine. But there is a catch. And it is that machine learning models usually take a lot of data to, to, to train. And this is unfortunate because for a lot of problems that we want to solve, collecting that much data is either impractical or just outright impossible. But there is a solution, and it's called transfer learning. And the idea behind transfer learning is that you'll take it, instead of training your model from scratch, you take advantage of a pre-trained model that does a task similar to the one you want to do. And then you extract some of its knowledge, you paste it, and then you train on top of it a little bit. So at the end, you'll have a new model that does the task you want to do, but with very little data. And this is good because this framework enables us to solve various important problems. However, there is a class of problems that transfer learning cannot solve and it is constrained problems. Uh, and these problems uh, are usually problems where there is another requirement for the model to satisfy that is not accuracy. So, and this include this is usually something like fairness or privacy. And the reason uh, transfer learning cannot solve these problems is because transfer learning does not make any guarantees. The resulting model will satisfy the desired constraints. So what do we do? Uh, so this is basically what our project has, uh, has, has been working on. Uh, so we want to find some modification to the transfer learning framework that will enable its use on constrained problems. So we propose the following formulation. Here, W1 and W2 are the source and target models, respectively. F1 and F2 are the expected loss. Uh, phi1 and phi2 are indicator functions for the constrained sets we want W1 and W2 to be in. And D is a distance metric between both models. And then what we do is we train both models simultaneously. And we use a joint loss function. And then the idea is that because we cannot copy paste knowledge because we're training them simultaneously, we rely on the distance metric to train these models and, and, and ensure that there is some knowledge transfer. And then the indicator functions will ensure that our model uh, fulfills the constraints that we wanted to because it uh, because then because if not outside of the constraint sets the indicator functions will be very large and we're minimizing the problem therefore ensuring that uh, the minimum is inside of the constraint sets. So I carried out some tests in a constraint less setting for ease of testing uh, to check whether or not the distance metric actually managed to be sufficient for uh, carrying out the knowledge transfer. And as we can see, as we can see the baseline on the left, which was we trained both models separately with no distance, um, clearly shows that there is no knowledge transfer and the target model performed very badly. Uh, the other two uh, test runs on the other hand, uh, with an L2 norm based distance and an inner product named base, base distance do show some knowledge transfer and the target model performs significantly better here. In conclusion, we have proposed an alteration to the usual transfer learning framework that might be useful uh, for problems with constraints. We have shown that the distance, that the distance term in our framework is enough uh, for carrying out trans, uh, the knowledge transfer in a no constraint setting. And in the future, uh, because this is ongoing research, we will test the effectiveness of our method in a constrained setting and provide theoretical guarantees to the, uh, the fulfillment of constraints in the target model. Uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day.